Greetings League players from around the world and welcome to Potato Monsters Top 5 Plays for League of Legends. We have some sick clips lined up for you guys this week so please enjoy them for all their work. Heading right into our number 5 play, we have a great blitz grip by Cocaine Bear that didn't really tip the scale of the game too much but surely is worth noting for its excellent timing and placement, gripping that Akali, burning her flash and picking up a kill and the tower. Coming in fourth place, we have Pencil Burner on Lee Sin, and he's been initiated on by the enemy team, and they will actually begin to retreat at the beginning of this clip as you see Talon gets out of his stealth, and now they are just making a break for the tower. Notice the Mordekaiser all is up on Teemo, and now watch this crazy intentional kick onto the brand, into the Teemo, picking up the first kill on the Teemo first team. Now Teemo's Ghost starts burning up the brand, and while the rest is history, guys, Pencil will queue on to pick up the kill on brand, and Teemo's Ghost will do some more damage onto the Talon as the Ash Arrow will come in, and it's GG. An excellent play on everyone's part, but the Lee Sin truly shining in this this clip. Hitting our number 3 spot, we have OGC did on Bran, and we will jump into the heart of this fight as Bran will land Pillar of Flame on the enemy team, tossing on his E and hitting all the players and picking up his first kill, and now he will land another 3 kills with his passive for an official quadra kill. Getting our second place spot for this week, we have Cruiser the Bruiser on Lee Sin, playing in a high low game, which is always nice to see. He's been pushing the top lane as the enemy Jarvan and Swain will swing around for a gank. He will miss his Q and the Swain will go in, guns blazing as he quickly toss out that war, jumping into it, grabbing some distance, and now watch this as we slow it down. He will line up his Dragon's Rage perfectly, knocking the Jarvan over into the Swain, doing some heavy damage, immediately tossing out his Q onto the Swain, getting the first kill as he will run away now. He thinks about running into the jungle, but Jarvan will land the knockup, and that red buff is just too nasty to escape from. So he will toss out a slowdown, jump to the ward, getting some distance, and rush towards his towers. But Jarvan will eventually catch up as we will speed this clip up, and Jarvan lands his knockup. Yet again, the shield will go up onto the Lee Sin, and now that the slowdown is up again, he will try to escape into the bushes with less than 50 health now, guys. But he will actually decide to turn around with his Q, knowing he has no tower to run to, and then jump to that creep and head towards blue side again. Now there will be a little bit of running as he is still below 100 health, but the rumble will comes to the rescue with the ultimate and he will barely miss this cube but Jarvan will fall very low and go through the wall just in time to meet Cruiser on the other side. He will pick up his second kill in this 2 for 0 exchange. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have N2 Trojina on Gragas, and he is headed for this team fight that has started at red buff, as the Karth Assault will hit him for a little bit of damage, and Trinimir is now running away with very low health, as this is escalating to quite the team fight. Gragas will charge through the wall, slowing the enemy team down, landing his Q in all four, and now he will toss out his ultimate, picking up a quadra kill with one ultimate, and now he's going to go on to pick up this Caitlyn for the pentacle and just shut down the enemy team's hope, as they will go on to surrender unanimously. You have slain an enemy. And the winner for this week's player's choice is Cabell on his awesome trap team. I sped it up for time's sake, but I guarantee you will get a good laugh out of this clip. And now as this clip plays, I just want to take this time to apologize about the issues we have with our website being down for some time. And we have resolved this issue and it shouldn't relapse ever again. We also wanted to apologize about one of our player's choice picks named Friendly Fire as we missed something that made the clip pretty much lame. And we wanted to assure you guys that it won't happen again. Voting for next week's Player's Choice will be open on Tuesday at PertainaMonster.com. And as always, you guys enjoy the rest of this episode and your weekend. Thank you. 